I just said, hey, if I see a road that turns off, I'm going to follow it. You know what? And that's not that different from working with cameras. Um, you don't have to be brand loyal or a brand fanboy. Uh, you can do whatever you want. The highway's over there, and I just pulled off. I, it's Kelbaker Road, I think. Just pulled off because this looks interesting up here. And I wanted to um, want to talk about selling all my Fuji gear. So I'm just taking a road trip this weekend. And recently I did something kind of bold and I made a video about how the autofocus on the Fuji is not, um, Fuji X-H2S is di disappointing. And I really realized that as um, somebody who's creating content for YouTube, um, having <laughs> video autofocus not work does not work. And so I've been disappointed with Fuji's uh, lack of responsiveness. And so I, uh, let's go up here to these rocks. Can't see the Jeep. Oh, there it is right there. Um, so I was going to tell you why I do this little hike, why I sold all my Fuji gear. One, uh, the Fuji X-H2S wasn't working for video autofocus. And so I actually went to, um, extremes. I bought a, a new camera before I got rid of the old one. But I think it was just trying to overlap and see if that would be a good solution for me. So when I got this new camera, I had visited Sammy's in Pasadena and Stephanie there mentioned that they were having KEH come in. And wow, look at this. This is So cool. This backlit against the sun, and actually this is very cool backlit against the sun. Absolutely beautiful out here. Anyways, um, so I heard KEH was having a buying event, so I decided I would take the time to collect all my cameras and lenses and adapters and I would bring them to KEH in person to have them appraised to see what they could give me for them. And so I did that. I drove out to Pasadena, had an appointment. It was actually early. The guy just took me. This guy just sits at a table all day and looks at gear and he's got a computer. He looks it up, gives it a, um, a condition. And so it was pretty easy. It took about 45 minutes. I sold my Fuji X-H2S, XS10. Actually, I had two XS10s. One had gotten some water damage. And so um, I sold, I had an X-T1 that worked, except the uh, card slot door was a little funky. And I also had um, uh, two XM1s. I kept an XM1 brown one that just looks pretty cool and so um, I sold my Fuji 56 millimeter lens I sold my Viltrox 56 millimeter lens I had sold the 16 to 55 the night before that via Facebook marketplace so I actually got a decent price for that I sold um, my Fuji 10 to 24 lens and I sold, uh, I kept the 23 millimeter F2 because that's my favorite. And so um, I sold the, uh, what else did I have? Mm, the 256s, the 10 to 24, the Viltrox 13, which is such a great lens. And, uh, I had been sent a bunch of filters, or no, adapters rather, a 
bunch of adapters. And so I just threw them all, probably 20 different adapters, different companies, Photodiox and other companies had sent me to test. Wow, look at this. This is amazing. And so I got all that evaluated. I was thinking, you know, hey, if I get 2,000 or more, that would help me pay for this new camera system I'm switching to. But actually, look at that. I don't know if you can see if that's so cool. Let's see if there's a zoom mode on here. Wow. Huh. Um, anyway, so that it actually came to $4,254 and cleared a bunch of stuff off of my, my desk. Um, they, KAH, wrote me a uh, check right there. I think I wanna be filmed right here. This looks good. Uh, so KH uh, wrote me a check right there. I deposited it with my phone, uh, mobile banking app to my account. And then I had talked to somebody uh, Facebook Marketplace who had a camera I was interested in. So I think that's that's going to be a, a different video. But it is the camera in here, and it is the camera that is taking these pictures out in the desert. So I think what I'm going to do is make a different video about that. But you can see right now, I love this. love this spot this is a surprise i just said hey if i see a road that turns off i'm gonna follow it you know what? and that's not that different from working with cameras um, you don't have to be brand loyal or a brand fanboy uh, you can do whatever you want and so me getting rid of the fuji um, system that i really bought into when i got rid of the canon Love the colors, the autofocus was just amazing and I was really, really set. Uh, but, you know, things don't last forever and it's okay to change. And so I got rid of all my Fuji gear. I only kept the XM1, a 23mm lens. Um, I sold it to KEH, raised about $4,000. Um, I did have a little bit of a, wow, look at this boulder. so enormous um, I did have um, one RF lens still so I sold that KEH was great to work with I didn't quibble over the money I just wanted to move on and I collected a lot of Fuji stuff over the last four years and so now I am ready to ready to move on all right so uh, just be encouraged, there, there is a, a KEH M... Oops, I got a thorn in my... Oh my God, I got a, a thorn in... I think it went straight through the... Uh, oh my God, look at that. Look at that. All of those thorns went straight through and it's going into my foot. Oh, ouch. You know what? It's a little thorny. Ow! To change camera brands. Uh, so I'm just going to scrape that off there. Oh my God. I'm going to have to pull these out with a, uh, uh, a pliers or something. Oh my God. These went straight through. These are the wrong shoes for sure. Um, and that's another metaphor. Sometimes... You go out to do a task and if you don't have the right shoes or right equipment, right camera, it does matter. People say gear doesn't matter. It matters. I wanted a camera that could focus. 
Um, all right, but in the next video, in the next video, I will tell you what I switched to and how it's going. And no, I'm not filming on that right now. Um, oh, okay, I just got to walk down this little gully and not fall, make it back to the car. And this was an adventure, but it wasn't supposed to be quite that much of an adventure because those thorns went straight through, uh, straight through. All right, I am gonna, so KEH, wholly recommend. Um, and uh, just be prepared. Don't, don't be set in your ways. Just be prepared for whatever life brings you. And that's my, that's my message to you. Uh, I was happy I would do it again. I went immediately and picked up an everyday carry camera, which will be talked about in the next video.